FreeMMOStation.com. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Skylant Shore with Free MMO Station, and today I played Bleach Online. So Bleach Online is a free-to-play, browser-based strategy MMORPG and it heavily focuses on the role-play aspect to it all. And it's set within the fiction of the Bleach universe. And what I mean by that is Bleach Online has no affiliation with Sight Kubo, the writer of the Bleach manga, which I'm a huge fan of. So playing this game might actually ruin your experience of Bleach if you have watched the show, read the manga, or even if you have yet to do so because within the first freaking minute of this game, you actually get a huge spoiler. So no, it does not continue or take part really in any part of the Bleach story. It's all just made up fiction, really, and it's non-canon in its entirety. And so much so that it was off-putting. I really enjoy Bleach as a world, and there's a lot of inspiration here, but they just kind of mix-matched everything, and it just, ugh, it just feels like vomit. Honestly, it's like they vomited Bleach and all the graphics everywhere. Players start the game by selecting one of six characters. I'm not going to say unique characters because it's not at all. You awake with amnesia, and you figure out the world around yourself through these text-based quests. No cinematics, really, no voice acting, nothing like that. So different characters really have no game impact whatsoever. It doesn't matter who you choose, you just do the same things. It's also true that choices in general just don't exist in this game, it's non-existent. It could even be said that gameplay, it's not a feature at all. So similar games are gonna be Knight's Fable and I Am Ninja. This genre, it's littered with skip battles, and Bleach Online is no exception. You pay in order to not actually play. If you watch previous reviews on similar games, you really don't need me to elaborate on my feelings for that. Let's just say that if you're watching this gameplay right now and you kind of feel a yawn coming on, I don't blame you at all. It's not a fun experience for me in the least. I would say, okay, what I did like about this game. I liked the 3D imposed models on the 2D isometric game space, right? So the animations were actually slightly better than expected, at a slightly higher frame rate than expected. And in fact, it kind of seems to be a staple of this genre to at least have like amazing art or the copied art, for, you know, for advertising, but then next to nothing in terms of gameplay or game depth. Really, the only redeeming feature to this game is that you can change your party positions as they have different characters play different roles, such as putting a defensive type character in front as the vanguard to tank. So that almost excuses the auto battles because it does add a little bit of strategy. You can also equip different items, which can make a difference in a fight, I'll admit it, but there's not a variety or myriad of items that you can equip at pretty much any point of the game. It really, honestly, the entire game is very AFK worthy and there's really no true impact of the player other than clicking auto path. It's sad to say, with such a massive amount of inspiration, the creators of this game left it less than exciting than a PowerPoint presentation, and I have to say that I don't recommend this game to anybody. I'm Skyline Shore with Free MMO Station, and uh, we know you guys watch these for honest opinions. What games are good, what games are bad, and, well, here we go. We have a bad game. I don't recommend it. But thanks for watching anyways. Like and subscribe for more honest reviews.